Hi everyone, I wanted to make a little um, eating slash nutrition video um, about some things that I've learned and that I've actually discovered in my own house that I've actually, that I have. Um, some of the things that we, you know, most of us probably have seen or maybe have even eaten ourselves or given to our kids or given, you know, have from a friend or something. Um, and I want to show you the absolute worst thing that I found. And actually, I haven't eaten this thing in so long that even with all the crap that's in it to preserve it, it's expired. It's expired for like a month. I just, I don't even touch it right now because I don't want to eat it because I know how bad it is. Um, this pizza rolls, pepperoni pizza rolls, win the grand prize for the worst thing you could give to your kid. Here's why. Um, First of all, they're directly marketed towards kids. They're, you know, very accessible. Um, and the things that you're probably not going to eat, the serving size is six six rolls. Most kids I've seen, and I've eaten myself, more than six rolls, always. Um, and the ingredient list is about this long, this wide or so, I think it is. Um, more than 20 lines of just stuff. I don't even know how to pronounce a lot of it. Methucellulose, rehydrated enzyme modified cheese. Oh my gosh, what the hell does that mean? You don't know. So don't eat it, don't buy it, don't even look at it. It's just bad. Nutrition facts for it. Six rolls equate to 220 calories, 90 of those from fat. 10 grams of total fat, two, throughout 3 grams of saturated fat, and 1.5 grams of trans fat. In a study they did, as little as two grams of fat a day, trans fat a day, significantly increase someone's risk of heart disease. So these are expired, so I'm definitely not eating them, and I'm never buying them again. I never want them coming around me ever again. Another culprit that will tell you it does not have trans fat on the nutrition label, but it does have trans fat. Um, I don't know if you can see the nutrition label. I don't know. But if you look at the Chips Ahoy, regular Chips Ahoy, um, they actually going to expire this month, I think, yeah. Um, I haven't touched these at all, really. Um, <laughs> let's see. Three cookies. I don't know. It's different size three cookies. I don't know who only eats three, but 160 calories, so that's 40 calories each, 8 grams of fat, 2.5 grams of fat, saturated fat, and 0 grams trans fat plainly stated. If you go down to the ingredients, you can find partially hydrogenated cottonseed oil. Any kind of hydrogenated oil, anything, signals that there's trans fat here. What they did is lower, they did th they increased the serving size so that the trans fat in here would be less than 0.5. If it's less than 0.5, they are not required it's by law to report that on here. So it tells you zero grams trans fat. Not true. Don't believe that. Never ever believe that. Um, let's see. Halloween's coming up. Let's go over some candy. Um, this is candy I have. Some of it I haven't really touched. But the um, biggest thing that I actually did buy recently, and I probably I'll, I won't give up, but I'll just eat in moderation, is infamous candy corn. That's what it's called. Um, it's pretty much pure sugar, 28 grams of sugar for 22 pieces, which is like a small handful. Yeah, small handful. Um, 22 grams of sugar, 140 calories. Now, I usually I don't eat. I I the most I'll ever eat is 10 of these. Um, occasionally I'll have you know three or four every day usually, just as a little snack. You know, I just kind of like candy. Um, <laughs> but usually the packets, when kids get them, there's usually going to be, you know, 18 or so of these. So that's easily 100 calories. M&M's. I don't have the small packages, but I have a, an unopened bag of peanut M&M's. Um, for just a fourth cup of these, which is probably not very many M&M's, 220 calories. 100 of which are from fat. Now there's no trans fat in the um, nutrition label or the ingredients, but there's a list of dyes in here. Let's see, 
Blue Lake 1, Yellow 6, Red 40, Yellow 5, Red 40, Blue 1, Blue 2 Lake, Yellow 6 Lake, Yellow 5 Lake. So there's a ton of coloring in here, like a lot of process stuff still in there. <coughs> and I'm sure the packets of those probably at least around 100 calories or so, maybe even a little bit less than maybe 90. Um, the best candy that I found around me was these. Um, still pretty much just sugar, but at least one serving size is one roll. You know, it's not half a roll or anything like that. And it is 25 calories. Um, much less than the other three. So, if you refuse to stop giving out candy for Halloween to kids, at least give them something low calorie. At least. Um, but even better suggestion is find something healthier. And if you don't have the, you know, the money to give nice, expensive, good things to, your, to the kids, maybe you don't give candy at all. Um, the kind of topic that I'm kind of getting at is that um, the habits that we pass on to kids, even if you're just you know a neighbor passing out candy, is that you're perpetuating um, a problem of nutrition in the country and of bad eating. Um, I know I grew up with a lot of you know processed food. Actually, until I was like five or six, I didn't have candy or soda at all. But once I was exposed to it at about five or six years old, I started smuggling it, you know, past my mom, and I would hide it in my pillowcase. And one day my mom found it, and she could not believe that I was hiding so much candy. I mean, I went candy creek. My mom, you know, even though she, she let me finally have candy after I was five or six, she'd always control how much I could have, you know? But I was like, uh-uh. Um, um, and then, you know, my parent, my mom was a single mother um, from then on, and, um, you know, would often give us a lot of quick food, you know, highly processed stuff, you know, um, pizza rolls like I showed you, you know, who, which are absolutely terrible. Um, even though you give these to your kids and they are skinny when you give them to them, you know, they don't appear overweight or unhealthy or anything like that, uh, that's, it doesn't matter what all the, these preserves and all this crap that you're putting in there's only not bad for their system, but it's going to also lead to them wanting this when they're older. Growing up with processed food now and I'm trying to eat healthier, it has been so incredibly hard to move past that. So even if you're just a neighbor and it's not technically, you know, your kid, you don't have control over his diet or anything like that, make the choice for them, you know, by giving out healthier candy or, you know, low calorie candy, um, healthier choices or just not or just nothing at all. Just don't participate, you know, be the neighbor who doesn't participate, but at least you're not perpetuating a problem that's becoming a bigger and bigger problem every single day. Um, so as a kid who grew up processed food, I'm asking you to think a little bit more about how you affect other people. When you go to potlucks and stuff like that, think about what you make and what you bring. Um, even if you're, you know, you're healthy, you know, you're at least not overweight or anything like that, at least think about, um, how your little impact, you know, how your little contributions can impact other people and their health choices. Um, just a little thought I wanted to put out and a realization that I had about my food that I had in my house and um, maybe you should go through your house and see what kind of stuff that you have and um, you could be surprised some of the stuff you might have. So um, I'll leave you with that. And I'll end this. So, thanks for watching.